making bread is unless you're doing something massively elaborate, which you hopefully won't need feel the need to do, um, isn't really very time consuming. It's not really labor intensive. It's just keeping an eye on it, and it's going to spend most of its time rising. So what you can do is when you get up in the morning on Thanksgiving and you're going to be in the kitchen mostly, you mix up your bread dough and let it rise for most of the time because you're not really needing to do anything to it and it's already there and it will rise. I have been making bread today and um, it's rising fairly slowly because it's not hot in here and I do not have an oven underneath my desk, sadly. Um, so what I tend to do is make sourdough bread because I like sourdough. Um, I have starter and key tartine um, and I just feed it in the morning and mix up some bread. This just has sourdough starter, uh, whole wheat flour, a little bread flour, a little rye flour and sea salt and water and that's it. And I've mixed it up and I've put saran wrap and sharpie on my times. Um, because sometimes they come off my hand and I just fold it or turn it um, every hour or so and if I were at home this would have been more successful because again, it's hotter and there's a turkey in my oven. One thing you should probably do on Thanksgiving and perhaps even the days leading up to it is make yourself a schedule. Um, what people in kitchens call production schedules and so you have okay here are the things I need to do and here are the times at which I should target those things. So for bread you can write it on your bowl um, at certain time is when you start it then you add your salts then you turn it and so forth and so I will know at what point I need to form my bread and at what point it needs to go in the oven. And since on Thanksgiving most of your time management has to do with what's in your oven. Um, I like to make rolls or even breadsticks, which take about 15 minutes in the oven. And so you should plan it all out ahead of time so you know at which point you can bake. Um, so when you've taken your turkey out of the oven and it's resting and you're you know, showing it off to other people, you can put your breadsticks in the oven or your rolls and they will come out at exactly the time that you want to serve because the whole point of making your own bread is having it come out warm from the oven at about the same time you're going to eat stuff.